So we're driving the Yolmo Volkswagen from the 8th generation. This particular version is a uh, 1.5 ETSI. As you can see, take a look at the interior. Navigation system. This one doesn't have analog uh, gauges anymore. That has been completely uh, replaced by this uh, modern type of uh, gauges that you can see. And of course the car has changed a lot. They all come with uh, LED headlamps. Fat C pillar. Now on the outside, uh, the car of course has changed, but then again, it hasn't changed that much. As opposed to, uh, to the Volkswagen Golf 7. The logo has, has been changed as you can see. You probably already knew that. LED tail lamps. Here you can see the, uh, the storage. 1.5 ETSI. 0 to 60 in 8.5 seconds. Top speed of 140 miles per hour. Power windows in all four. Power seats with uh, great bolstering. Cloth seats is one with the white stitching as you can see. The seats do look uh, sporty and the car is roomy in the sunroof. Sun visors with uh, vanity mirrors in them. Now the interior looks very crisp. It looks uh, very good. Here you can see the infotainment system. Even though the interior looks very good and very crisp, modern. It also looks very clean, very clear, it's very easy to operate. The only thing that's going to take getting used to is the uh, infotainment system, of course. Paddle shifting, you can see the gear selector. And paddle shifting, uh, something that you're probably not going to use. It's just more or less like a gimmick. It's there for the sake of being there. Which you're not gonna really use it. Electronic handbrake, start stop button. USB jack. Controls on the steering wheel. No, the driving experience of this car is just, uh, it's just, it drives very well, really. Road stability, it's awesome. No squeaks and rattles whatsoever. Um, it picks up uh, very smoothly. The only thing that's gonna take uh, getting used to it is the, uh, the transmission. This one's the automatic transmission as you just, uh, we're able to see and um, I do think that it's gonna take some getting used to I think it's for this one it's better to uh, go for the uh, manual transmission as opposed to the automatic transmission in the 1.5 that is
the dimensions have pretty much just stayed the same. It's uh, a little bit lower, not that much. And it's a little bit longer as well. The wheelbase has uh, changed a little bit. And I really like the uh, the setup of the uh, the gauges. As I mentioned in the beginning, there's no longer uh, they're no longer analog, no longer analog gauges in this car. And uh, you cannot really see it that well right now because it's in the daytime. But once it gets dark, you get this kind of ambient lighting, which uh, looks very cool. Only thing we're gonna have to do right now is wait for the, uh, the GTI to come. Our models, 2.0 TFSI, and um, yeah, see how that does. This one, all I can say about it so far, so good. And you can customize this car to the extent that you can, uh, that you will that you can just you know you can just pretty much you know go for it more or less the sky's the limit is this car there's so many options to choose from you uh, know it's you know i think it's safe to say that there are no two goals alike you can you know you can go wild on the interior exterior there are only a bunch of there are only a few colors not that much not that many not that much variety and uh Color-wise, but all in all, there's just uh, plenty of room to customize your car, rims, you know, upholstery, moonroof, sporter packages, you name it. Now I have driven this car. It was a, a pleasant experience. It drives very smoothly. And all I can say is uh, thanks for watching.